Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my paper crafting YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm playing with Super Sponsor Stamps of Life and Kendra's Card Challenge number 15. This is one of the sponsors for this challenge, the challenge number 15, where you can make 15 cards with six sheets of six by six paper, and we have all the directions for you on how to cut out that paper. You can get all the information on Kendra's Card Challenge, today's hop, and our giveaway in the description box below. So we're gonna be making four cards, but I'm only gonna be using one sketch. So first let's take a look at the products from Stamps of Life. This is the solid four chocolate strawberry stamp set. Four different strawberries, all solid stampable images and sentiments. Then we have our chocolate strawberries, which is open stamped images where you can color them in and sentiments. Then we have our dies to cut out those stamped images. They will cut out both sets, but there's also die cut strawberries. Okay, the sketch I'm using is sketch number 10. And the paper that I'll be using is from Pink and Main. I've had this in my stash for a long time and today was the perfect opportunity to use it. So I'm using my Kendra's Card Challenge PDF, which is giving me the directions on how to cut the paper for this particular card. So I cut them all out and then I'm adhering all the things. Now, you might notice an apple in the center of my card. A lot of times if I have something like that to cut out, I'll cut it out from the middle of a card front panel so I can always cover it up and use it as a frame later. All right, we've got those things set aside and now we're gonna stamp out the strawberries. I'm starting with the stamp set of solid images. So I'm gonna stamp the chocolate part with icing on the cake, Catherine Pooler ink. This ink is very saturated and very, um, it's a very squishy pad. So you have to barely touch it down to your stamp, but it has amazing coverage for solid stamping. I'm loving these ink pads, which are somewhat new to me. I've been playing with them a lot more lately. Next, I'm using the Rocket Red to do the strawberry part. And you can see, again, such nice saturated color. And I was able to stamp it so that the openings for the seeds stayed white. I was very happy about that. And then we have our stems. Um, these can be a little bit tricky. If you're going to die cut them out after stamping them, you want to try and get them on there um, lined up pretty easily. I was a little bit worried about that, being able to die cut it later and not getting the stems exactly right. But there is some indication on where to stamp them on each one. So you can see my one on the end, it was a little bit off. So I'm going to show you another way you can do that so you can get it lined up more easily. All right, so now I'm die cutting these out with the coordinating dies. They look fabulous. Even the one that I got a little bit off, die cut out okay. But if you're worried about getting it stamp just right. You might want to die cut first. I put a little tape over the opening from where I die cut out the strawberry and then that strawberry that's completely blank, right? There's no stamping. I stuck in there by putting a piece of tape on the back of this panel. Then I can go ahead and stamp all the things and I know it's lined up perfectly with my die cut. So you can try it this way too if you want to make sure you get everything on there a little bit more straight. Having the outline of the die cut helps with placement of your images. So, all right, next we're going to use May Your Day Be Dipped in Deliciousness. I like I had to use that sentiment first. I love it. I am going to emboss this. So I'm inking my stamp up with clear embossing ink from Wow and stamping that down. I like to do light pressure multiple times because I have my Misty. I can do that. And then I am tapping on my white embossing powder and treating this with a powder tool before embossing makes all the difference so that your powder is not sticking to the little um, oily spots that your fingers may have left behind. And now I'm just trimming off the edge of this. This is kind of the one thing, I guess there's two, on my card that isn't exactly the same as the sketch, but you know what, that's totally fine. The sketch is inspiration for you to start card making. Like maybe you got a brand new strawberry dipped stamp set and you're not exactly sure what to do with it at first, you can pull out your sketch and it's going to give you an idea and be like, oh, instead of the circle on this card, I could put some strawberries, right? So you can easily use it as a way to be inspired when creating. All right, so I arranged my three little strawberries how I thought I wanted them to go, picked them up with a piece of press and seal, 
glued them together, then I added some foam squares to the top and the bottom because that glittery strip I put through the center of my card is actually glittered fun foam or craft foam. I love this stuff. <laughs> so I had to use that and then um, it's raised up. It's, you know, foam. So I just put dimensional adhesive at the top and the bottom of my strawberries. And now I'm adding some gems that are clear with colored glitter in them to match my red and my green. And then I have that one strawberry that was a little bit off with the stem. I'm gonna put it on the inside of my card so I don't waste it. I felt like it was good enough to go ahead and use. Didn't wanna waste that work that I did. <laughs> so there's my first card but there's so many other ways that I can use these two stamp sets and die set I had to try the other ways so now that we have stamped the solid images I'm gonna make another card using the same exact sketch but I switched up my papers I stamped a different sentiment and now I'm gonna stamp out those line images on to some white cardstock with black ink. And this time I'm gonna use my Copic markers to color them. And I'll show you the coloring for one of these. I'm using three different shades of each color. So E47 was my darkest. Then I'm coming in with E27 and making that chocolate dipped area even bigger. And then for a nice highlight, I have E25 where I'm filling in the rest of it. Now, if you didn't get as good of ink blending as you like with the first pass, you can always go over it a second time, which I love to do, but I felt like this turned out pretty good the first time around. So I'm doing E, no, R, R markers now for red. <laughs> R46 is my darkest color. R29 is my midtone. And then for my highlight, I have R17. And then we're going to do the same exact thing. Three colors for green. G09 is my darkest color, my shadow color. Then my midtone would be G05. And the lightest for that highlight is G03. So there's my strawberries. I'm gonna color the others the exact same way with the exact same colors. And then I'm bringing in my white gel pen. You notice I didn't take care to not color over those seeds because that's just too much for me. It's, I draw the line. So literally I draw the line because I brought in my white gel pen, added some highlights and highlighted those seeds. All right, next we're die cutting them out with the coordinating dies, which makes them look even more cute. And then I popped them onto the second card. Like I said, same exact layout. I use a little corrugated paper on this one. I love textured paper. So now what we're going to do is take those stamped images and see about stamping them with the solid stamps so that you don't have to color them if you don't want to. And guess what? It works out fabulously. <laughs> I mean, wow. Wow. I only got one of them, my middle strawberry, kind of off a tiny bit. Otherwise, it's stamped beautifully, and I love it. So I did uh, the same exact sketch, switched up my papers a little bit, did a long sentiment on a banner like was on the sketch as well. But now, let's see about die cutting these strawberries. So you're gonna need the solid image to glue your pieces of your strawberries down onto, and I'm just gonna color them. Now you could cut this from colored cardstock and not have to worry about coloring it and it would go even faster. But I also find it's pretty fast just to cut it from white cardstock and then throw a little color on there, right? So you just gotta do like either what you're in the mood for or kind of what your thing is. But I have to say this one, is probably my favorite. I don't know, the strawberries were all so much fun to do. I, but look with the highlights of the white gel pen, it's really super cute. All right, so I added those to a card. This time I stamped my sentiment right on the patterned paper with some dark brown ink because some of the sentiments were really large and didn't necessarily fit a banner. So here we have our stamped only, or stamped in solid color only version. We have our line image colored with Copics. We have the line image with solid stamping, and then we have the die cut only and Copic colored version. So there you are, all four of these cards. I think they were so much fun to make and really fun just to kind of switch up my papers, but do the same sketch every time. So don't forget this is a hop. There is a playlist link for you below. So if you click that link, it's going to show you all the videos in today's hop. I believe there are three others. So go see what else Stamps of Life has to offer and what the other designers are doing with Kendra's card challenge 
with those things. It'll be lots of fun. Enter the giveaway through the raffle copter link down below as well. And check out Kendra's card challenge because it's a lot of fun. And I'll link a couple more Kendra's card challenge videos for you right here. And if you're interested in the products, they're linked for you below. And I will be back again very soon with a new card making video just for you. Happy stamping. Bye.